Hi guys, it's Alison from A Life Loved and Words and today I have got a haul video for you, crafty haul and this is from LT's Craft Supplies I think it is I'll double check, I'll put a link I'll put the name here and I'll put a link um, She sells her stuff on Facebook and it is awesome, it's really reasonably priced so I just thought I would show you the items that I got so first up was some decoupage paper. I keep buying decoupage paper because it's pretty and I don't even do decoupage. But I'm going to find a way to use it. Uh, so first up I got this one because it has the ghosts on it. So you know that I just have to get it. Yep. And then the other one on the back is a little Halloween design. So I think there's two packets of the ghost paper and one of the Halloween. I can't remember the prices of these so I'm probably going to have to just pop them up on screen maybe. Next up is from Graphic 45 Rare Oddities. I've been wanting this set for a while but it's really difficult to get Graphic 45 here when it's not super expensive. But Louise had a bunch of it and I thought that I would just grab some. Uh, so this is the tags and pockets. You see that is the one side. And then that is the other side. So these all fold up to make little pockets which is really cool. So I think I'm going to make a kind of journal out of these. I've got some matching items as well. I've got a bunch of... I'll show you this first. This is the Rare Odysseys sticker sheet, 12 by 12 so It's got a bunch of different alphas on it. Hard stop stickers. Different corners, stickers, washi strips. Little phrases down the bottom there. And then I got a bunch of different 12 by 12 papers. Again, these are all from the Rare Odysseys collection. I don't know if these have got individual names. They just have different numbers on. So this is like a kind of tartan type one. I'll just try and show you the numbers off the up there. And then on the back, we've got the kind of curio cabinet type thing. So I've got two of them. Both patterns. This is a lovely floral, purple floral. I'm not really about the florally pattern. Normally, this is not the Rear Odyssey collection, this is random relics, which is strange. Anyway, I love the pattern. It's really cute. And over there we have got some kind of journal cards to cut out. And again, this is random relics. I didn't know that they did two different Halloween things, but they seem to match, so that's fine by me. I was just confused for a minute there. And the nose me knows it doesn't take much to confuse me. This is from the Fright for Be Sweet. I wonder if that's I feel so silly. That's the names of the paper. It is the Rare Oddities collection. The first sheet I showed you was Rare Oddities and the second sheet I showed you was Random Relics. I'm so lame. <laughs> this one is frightfully sweet. It's still the Rear Oddies collection and it's like a kind of newsprint type pattern. And then on the back it's got all these little phrases. You bewitch me, body and soul. Frightfully sweet. Charmed, I'm sure. You're a rare oddity. Charmed, bewitch, number 31. Ghostly Greetings, Deathly Delights, 
So it's all just really awesome freezies. So again, I've got two sheets so that I can use both sides. Another floral one. And this is Ghastly Greetings. So it's a kind of orangey version of the same paper. And then on the back, it has got these amazing owls and ravens with cages. And it's over a kind of stamp background so that's really gorgeous. So I can't believe I made that mistake with the paper. I promise you aren't laughing at me, I bet you all are. This one is the Cabinet of Curiosities paper. And it is like a gorgeous Paisley pattern. Kind of peachy colour. I hope that you can see this okay. The lighting's not that great in here today. And then on the back again Cut out from my cards that we can cut out and use. So those are really awesome. So there was two of those. This one is Charmed I'm Sure. And again I've got two. So the first one is just like a kind of ruler type pattern and so dark orange. And on the back I love this. I would want a dress with this pattern. Graphic 45, why don't you do clothes? Um, it's like a paisley pattern, but it has spider webs and butterflies and flowers and among it, and it is adorable. So I love it. And last up, we have got brews and potions. It's like a purple paisley print on the one side. And then it's just strips of various phases and the potion bottles and spreadouts. So these are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. If you know me at all, you will know that Halloween is my favourite time of year. And I wish it could be Halloween every single day. And also, I'm a paranormal investigator, so anything creepy or spooky is right up my street. And I wish that I could get more Halloween things. I wish that I could get more Halloween things all year round that weren't Halloweeny. If you know what I mean, like this set. You could use that at any time of year because it's just kind of spooky like it's not seeing Halloween which a lot of the Halloween things do I'm kind of rambling here aren't I? yeah okay next item I have got is some die cuts and these are by Bow Bunny and they are foil and glitter and it's a noteworthy collection so I'll flip it over so you can see them there so it's a kind of vintage looking collection, really really gorgeous, 25 of them in there, very good bunny. You can use these for all sorts of things, oh, sticky pads are in back there, that's really cool if it is. Awesome. And next up I got a clear stamp from Kaiser Craft. And it's just like a little edging stamp with number 36 in it and some text and a butterfly. Oh, my popped out there. I think it's risky. I just split it open because I'm silly. But you can see the glitter effect on that one. Yeah, so I've got this stamp. I've not really been doing a lot of stamping, trying to get into it. Um, but I really love that. I was looking for kind of vintagey things grungy things that helped a lot. Next item I've got is some enamel dots because who doesn't love a good enamel dot? And these are from La Di Da. If you haven't heard of La Di Da, they are kind of like Smashbooks but it's an Australian company. Um, so I know Smashbooking is not really available here too much and also the company has been bought over and are no longer doing smash books as far as I know 
So Larry Da has really taken off. You can get them really easily here. You can get them in the range. You can get them in Hobbycraft. You can get them on Amazon. Pretty much everywhere that does craft stuff does Larry Da. So you should be able to get these real easy. I know in America they're quite difficult to come by right now. But maybe they'll come over the pond. So yep, these are just enamel dots. Don't know what collection they're from. Doesn't actually see. There's different collections uh, to go with different books. But that's the one I got. A couple more items still to go. Another set of die cuts. This is Grace Taylor, Forest Friends. There's 30 pieces. And they are super glittery. We'll lip them over for you. So as you can see, these are all kind of woodsy, camping, outdoors type things. So those are really adorable. Grace Taylor is another brand that I really am loving right now. Another Laddie Da range. And this is the Boho range. And it's just a book of stickers, alpha stickers. I love these like carnival style stickers. And then there's a kind of Comic Sans looking font as well. And that is it. Spice sheets, so two full alphas. So you get a couple of letters of each. But that is the Boho range from La Di Da. Next up I have got an 8x8 paper bag, Sweet Paris by Dovecraft. And again, I've spoken about this in a couple of videos. Right now I'm totally into the vintage look, the stamps, crowns, postage, franken things. So this is a gorgeous set and I love it. There's 48 sheets, 8 by 8 you get 4 sheets of each of the 12 designs. And it's 150 GCM card stock, so good in it. They will be ideal for things like dashboards and dividers. So that's pretty awesome. Um, pretty sure there was another paper pad. I think I've lost it. Oh, there's more than that. There's two more paper pads. Next up is from the Bo Bunny Beautiful Dreamer collection. How gorgeous is that? Really, really nice. Hopefully you can see if I flip through. It's totally grungy, vintage, steampunky. I love it with all my heart and last up this is a collection that I have been looking at forever hummed and hawed over it it was always so expensive but Louise came to the rescue because she had the 6x6 pad super cheap and that is the Bohemian book by Dovecraft Premium it's got some glitter effect Designs and gloss effect and pearlescent effect as well. So this is gorgeous. It's all stags, peacocks, flowers. Just adore it. Really, really do. That's the the glitter one. I think that's the gloss one. The pearlescent. But it's just gorgeous. I even love the cover. This is one of these ones I'm going to shuffle cut up. But I love it anyway. So that was my little haul from LT's Craft Supplies. I'll put a little link in the description below and I hope you have enjoyed seeing all the things that I bought. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for some more haul videos, power videos and paper craft videos. And I will see you all again soon. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.